you, you know what champagne does. What? <laughs> it uh, removes your inhibitions. Is that good? Well, we spend most of our time. you know. That's it a lot. <laughs> That's the same thing. Hello. <laughs> what I do is demand a show up. You're so right. I go to Stalin and ask to see his cards. On the phone. The trouble is, they don't talk things over. Would you take this oh, note down to Mrs. Webster? Who? Mrs. Webster. It's the lady with the glass in her hand. What do you think of the atom bomb, Mrs. Webster? Yes, and no. Mr. Briggs won the only game I played. Eighty-five dollars. You're a very successful man. But you don't look at all right. I know. And I have to Yes. Well, I think I'll have chicken. Well, I think I'll have steak. Thank you. Uh, what do you say to the show? Who said we this? The young man at the end of the table. <laughs> well, do your children wear braces yet? Hmm? Why, uh, yeah, no, no. My friends, it isn't very often in Rock City that we get to celebrate. An $85,000 verdict. <laughs> but to a lawyer, the satisfaction of getting justice for a client means far more than money. I'd uh, like to propose a toast to the client we helped get that justice. Let's uh, drink, my friends, to Stanley Rickson. Uh, Stanley. Stanley. On your feet. Stanley. Well, uh... <laughs> I, uh, I hire lawyers to do my talking, so, uh, well, I'll just thank Mr. Jethro and Mr. Bowker and Mr. Clay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Stan. And now just one more toast. It's to a young man in our firm who's never gotten nearly the credit he deserved. A lad with a solid legal background and a fine, clear mind. I just want him to take a bow. Martin H. Clay. Well, oh. Oh. Matter of fact, there's more than one good young man in my office. I'm going to ask Max Webster if he'd like to say a few words. Well, I, I wouldn't. I would. Julie. I've got quite a lot to say. First, I'd like to congratulate Mr. Jethro on having my husband in his employ. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he a doll? <laughs> Julie. No, no, let her, let her alone, Max. She's doing fine. Thank you. Now, Mr. Jethro made a wonderful, wonderful speech to the jury. It had to be wonderful. My husband wrote it. <laughs> then there's Mr. Falker and Mr. Clark. Fine gentlemen. They came into court with all the laws on their fingertips. And who do you suppose sat in a little office digging up those laws? My husband. <laughs> Isn't he a doll? <laughs> Julie? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that Jethro, Bowker, and Clay would starve to death, but my head hurts. Oh, Max. I'll take you home, honey. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's had a few drinks. <laughs>